Hey everyone, hopefully you're doing well. Hopefully you everything's good in your life. Now, we've already talked about iOS 18, we've talked about Watch OS, we talked about iPad OS, and all, how these are all big updates that are coming to the Apple integrated system this fall. Now, there's one system we haven't talked about yet that we do need to talk about that we all have more than likely, and that is Mac OS and how it's going to improve that much more. So let's jump right into it because this is everything that Apple has talked about or covered in that Apple event. So first of all, they have the, the easier window tilling. I love that they have that, you know, because as someone who's a multitasker, let me bring this full circle. I'm a big multitasker. You know, a lot of people will say like, you can't, it's impossible to multitask. I disagree because I'm always multitasking and especially as a college student and as a content creator or a YouTuber. But I love the fact that they have this easier window tilling. I love the fact that they, they're now introducing that. And I like the fact that, you know, collections and photos is coming because I have a ton of photos on this guy, which sync up with my Mac that we're on right now. But there's one thing I really want to talk about, and that's iPhone mirroring. Mirror, mirroring, if I can get the words out of my mouth, that's kind of a tongue twister for me. Um, knowing that like I can mirror my iPhone on my Mac and that this I'll be able to see everything that's on my phone, but it's on my MacBook. And I think that's so cool. And I love the fact that right here, you can see the talk about, you know, the hiking because you know what I mean? And we already talked about this in the last video. We talked about the, you know, the hype, the hiking map. Now, obviously full disclosure, I don't expect to see anyone out there on a hike carrying their MacBook like, oh, gotta go this way oh gotta go that way it's just not but i like the fact that like you can get a sense of direction before you go out on your hike adventure i love that because there's a as i mentioned in that ipad os video there's a lot of apps i mean there's there's a lot of yeah there's a lot of apps coming to ipod to apple but there's a lot of hiking trails that are here in utah that i have yet to even go on you know i just went on one a little while ago and that was it was new to me so i like the fact that you know they're integrating the hiking and maps to every part of their system now looking at this there's another thing that i really like i like the fact that they have the emoji tap backs which is really cool i think that's i'm excited for that and then there's something else called game porting toolkit too which as i've already announced is you know the gaming side of this channel is coming i'm not sure when i'm going to premiere it yet but it's coming, but I like that. And I like the sense that you'll have an easier redesigned reader right here, because as a college student and just someone who occasionally has had eBooks on his computer, knowing that they'll have a redesigned reader is that much more beneficial to me because sometimes it's just nicer to have an eBook. If you're a college student or if you're just someone who uses eBooks, then you know what I'm talking about. But going back to it, I really want to talk about the math notes because again, I like the fact that, you know, they they're integrating the math notes into every onto every platform, which is so cool the fact that it's going to be integrated in with the Apple Intelligence or Apple AI as a lot of people are referring to it. They're going to have an highlights in Safari. They're going to also have, you know, an, a keychain update for the keyword for the passwords keychain. And they're going to have a presenter preview. Now, these are all big things that are coming to Apple, to the Mac OS system. But here in a sec, we're gonna be going to their website because I have their website pulled up and I'll make sure I leave the, the, the link to their website in the description below. But what are you guys thoughts on this so far? Make sure you tell me like, what are you excited for with this? Because there's a lot of big updates that are coming to the Mac OS system. It's probably one of the biggest systems that Apple has besides the basic iOS 18. So let me share my screen. Here we go. All right, so Mac OS Sequoia preview. Now you can already see that this thing is gonna be amazing. You know, there's that iPhone mirroring um, system. There's the, the Safari highlights update. And there's just so much about this. And I love the fact they have right here, sharp as a Mac. Lay out your workspace on the fly. Browse the web with focus and even mirror your iPhone wirelessly. And 
Apple Intelligent helps you simplify and accelerate tasks big and small, coming this fall. So the first thing, again, it talks about the Apple Intelligence. On Mac models with Apple Silicon, Mac OS, Sequoia introduces Apple Intelligence, which draws on your personal context to give you intelligence that is most helpful and relevant to you. So first of all, it talks about writing, focus, and communication. The new writing tools and language capabilities help you write, summarize longer text, and prioritize notifications, which I, again, appreciate because I'm someone that I like to prioritize my stuff. You know, I mentioned full disclosure. Again, I'm going to bring this full circle to you guys. I had mentioned the last time that there's a method to my madness. Well, this is going to help my madness. This is going to help my madness. So going back to it. I like the fact that, you know, also they talk about delightful images created just for you. Create images to express yourself, craft gin emoji, gin emoji for conversations or revisit moments with your own memory movies. We've already kind of gone over that, which I'm excited for. And then the start of a new era with Siri, because again, Siri is great. Like I've used Siri quite a bit on my phone and knowing that, I mean, I haven't really used Siri too much on my MacBook, but knowing that it's, they're gonna integrate the same Siri from the watch, the phone, and the iPad onto the MacBook is so cool to me, and I'm excited for that. And then, so I love the fact that it says right here, use your iPhone from your Mac. With iPhone mirroring, you can view what's on your iPhone and control it too, without having to even reach for it. And I like that because sometimes my phone is in my room and I'm in the living room. Like that's just, that's just how it is. Or I'm here in the office. And I'm just like, oh, I don't wanna have to get up. I like the fact that I can mirror my iPhone right here. So it says iPhone notifications on Mac. Catch your iPhone notifications right alongside your Mac ones. Even better, you can take action, launch straight into an app while using your iPhone mirroring. Seamless drag and drop between devices, which is something that I am excited for because I cannot, I, this is something that I have been using quite a bit because I use that, um, the, the, the Air, port feature on this, which is so helpful. But I love the fact that it says move files, photos, and videos between your iPhone and Mac. So as easy as you drag and drop between apps on Mac. And I, I'm so excited for this because it kind of gives gives you a little bit of a, it gives you kind of like a little bit of a sneak preview of it. And I'm, I'm so excited for that. I love the fact that they're making it even more user friendly. Productivity. Easy window to Peeling. Drag windows to the edge of your screen to, effort, to effortlessly arrange them into the side-by-side -side tiles on your desktop or place them in corners to keep even more apps in view. And this is what I was talking about earlier because I'm a multitasker. I don't know about you guys. Make sure you tell me in the comments below because I'm a multi... So, you know, as a someone who creates content for you guys, um, I'm constantly multitasking, you know, whether it be editing videos, editing thumbnails, looking for the latest, greatest tech and upcoming updates. I'm a big multitasker. Like right now I have quite a few tabs open on my internet browser alone. And if you look at my taskbar, there's at least three or four applications open right now. And one of those being Zoom, one of those being the preview app, and then one of them being the, mess the iMessage app. And I'm excited for this because as a multitasker, this is something that's going to be very beneficial to me. So make sure you tell me in the comments below, are you a multitasker like me? Like, do you try to like multitask and stay organized at the same time? Tell me in the comments below. All right, going back to this because there's a lot to cover. Lay out your workspace on the fly. And it says present, present or preview. Um, see exactly what you're going to share in a video calling apps, your whole screen or a single app before displaying it for everyone. And I think that that is gonna be so helpful because, you know, there've been times when I've been having to do like presentations for class, when I maybe didn't wanna share something or maybe I shared the wrong thing. And I like the fact that you can do the presenter preview and I'm excited for this. And I also like the fact that, you know, it has the background replacements. Express yourself or just hide laundry behind you with a beautiful built-in background of your own photos while industry-leading segmentation technology helps you look your best. Now, this is something that's going to be very helpful to me because right now as I speak, there's a lot of 
different documents. There's a lot of other like photos and other things on my desktop page as we speak. And knowing that I'll be able to hide those without having to just like rearrange them so people don't see everything is gonna be so helpful to me because I'm self-conscious about this. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I'm very self-conscious when it comes to that kind of thing. Like, I don't want people to think like, oh man, why does he have so many documents? Like, why isn't he more organized? Now, again, there is a method to my madness, but I like the fact that you can, you know, background, you can change the background around, you have that background replacements. But going on, Safari, uh, quickly pull up relevant info from a site. And I think that's going to be very helpful to a lot of people. A smarter redesigned reader with a table of contents and high level summary to get the, the gist of an article just before reading on, which is very helpful to me because as a college student and those who have been college students in the past, there's sometimes when professors and other people, they send you these articles like, yeah, you need to read the whole article. Even though it's like 10 pages long, read the whole article because you have to answer some questions on it at the very end, or there's gonna be a test on it. I like the fact that with this, it gives you a distinct summary of the article before you even begin reading on it. And the fact that I also like the fact that you're gonna have more control over web video. With Safari, when Safari detects a video on a page, video re, uh, viewer helps you put it in front and center while giving you the full access to the system playback controls, which I think is gonna be so cool. I think that Safari as a whole is actually a really cool internet browser program. You know, I use it a lot on my phone and it's it, just knowing that they're improving it that much more is so exciting for me. Passwords app, all your credentials in one place from password to from passwords to verifications and security alerts, find them all securely stored in the passwords app. And that's what we were talking about earlier. And I'm so excited for that because let's face facts. We all have, you know, we all have, let's bring this full circle. We all have those, we all have a ton of passwords and more than likely a lot of us have the same passwords, but they, we also kind of, hopefully, hopefully this is you watching this video. Hopefully you change them periodically, periodically. If I can get the words out of my mouth. But I like the fact that there's going to be a passwords app. Now, this now is there going to be some benefits to this? Oh, 100%. Now, is there going to be some negatives to this? Like if your phone gets stolen, yeah, they're they're going to have to put in some some kind of security feature with this, so that you know you that if your you know your phone gets stolen, your iPad gets stolen, or your MacBook gets stolen, that people will have to have like maybe a security passcode. So Apple, if you're watching, maybe you'll have that as part of this. Like have a security question or like a security passcode that you have to type in to even get into this to the password app but i like this that they're really trying to help organize your that much more you know it says you know securely sync across devices and apps so yeah it is it's coming to you know mac iphone ipad apple vision pro and windows which i'm also excited for because you know for the longest time there's always been the biggest battle between Apple and Windows. If you know, you know. If you don't believe me, go Google it because a lot of people, there's been, there's still a war going on over that, which is better. And then with gaming, new and upcoming games for Mac. Now, as I mentioned, full disclosure, gaming is going to be coming to this channel. I haven't yet to decide when I'm going to premiere the first game or what game is going to be. I've been thinking about a few different possibilities, but one thing that Apple covered in the Apple event is that more modern games, like upcoming games, are going to be coming to the to the Apple App Store that you can buy through them, and that they'll run on iOS 18. And I'm so excited for this. So let's go back to this because there's some pretty big games. So enjoy new upcoming t um, titles from game developers and taking full advantage of Metal 3 and Apple Silicon to deliver smooth frame rates and high quality visuals. So, Dead Island 2, this is one that I'm really excited for and that's Assassin's Creed Shadows. It's the, it's the latest Assassin's Creed game because I'm a big Assassin's Creed fan. I'm excited that it's going to be coming to Apple that you'll be able to play, that you'll be able to play it on here and i like this because this is a game that i remember seeing the preview for i'm so excited for and then there's valheim this is a game that a lot of people 
love. And I like the fact that they're really just trying to make the Apple ecosystem that more inclusive to gamers. Knowing that, like, you can, you know, and they're going to have Resident Evil, Biohazard. You're going to have Sniper Elite 4, Robocop, World of Warcraft, The War Within. You know, these are all big name titles that are coming to the Apple MacBook, the Apple Mac system. You know, Prince of Persia. There's so many big, Pal World, Pal World. You know, this is a game that I, I remember I did, actually, full disclosure, I remember Googling if Pal World was available on Mac. And at the time I said, no, it's not available. Unfortunately, it's only available on Windows PC. And I was like, darn, like I wanted it to be able to play it. But knowing that it is now coming to MacBook, I'm so excited for this. Honestly, guys, there's so much about Apple MacBook OS that's coming out that really, realistically, I could do a two, three, four, maybe even a five part series to this. So if you are interested in that, make sure you tell me in the comments below. And on that note, I will see you in the next video.